Well, I particularly loved Big Daddy. That was my number one. I mean, and, and Happy Gilmore, I suppose. Um, more than I liked Billy Madison. I liked Billy Madison, but when I, by the time I got to ha- uh, Happy Gilmore, I was like, oh. <laughs> 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 and then I think I really graduated to obsession level with, like I said, with Big Daddy. You know, I think Big Daddy was trying to, was kind of, it was a little bit more polished. It was trying, it sort of seemed a little bit more able to kind of be sincere and fuck the crazy fucking dirty shit that Sandler likes to do. And he sort yeah. of got the mix really right. And um, um, and I think he looked to me like, he just looks like a goofball in Happy Gilmore. But in Big Daddy, you started to see like, there's actually kind of a handsome guy in there, you know? And there's still, there still is. As a matter of fact, I haven't seen the Meyerowitz stories yet, but I've been seeing these pictures of him lately. I haven't seen him in a while. We talk all the time, but I haven't seen him in a while. He's, he's getting really, he's so good looking now as he gets older. I know that's not what people would normally say about him, but his face is getting even better as he gets older. Right. That's a real parade, but yeah. he's at least shielded you by, know, that phone. By, by that phone booth. People. It was, there's a parade going on, and honestly, he just swooped in, but that's not to say that we didn't have our own fair share of that. It was before 9-11, so we were running through an airport. I mean, we were running through, yeah. like, wild right. through an airport, right. and we were going so fast, there was just one moment where somebody called out, It's Ben Stiller! <laughs> <laughs> It's the beauty of having a Jewish comedian. It's the funny guy from TV. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So we were running through metal detectors and airport nice. security and stuff. No one was saying boo. That was, yeah, a different time. I mean, I'd, sometimes you can, like, that parade scene that you're talking about, that's like talking of Sandler, like, this chaos is going on. He's getting the take. He's pretty good, but he's got to go to, like, 10. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the take that's in the film... Was it t- like they were having all these sweet things kind of go by in the parade, like sweet, like mm. kindergarten hula class yeah, and wanted. shit like yeah. that? And it was like, okay, and he's not there. So the take that's in the film where he goes absolutely ballistic, this tribal kind of drum thing comes through, and you feel that get in yeah. here, here's that, it gets inside him, and the next thing you know, he's like, his eyes are bulging out of his head. Yeah. You know, that's sort of the magical situation of shooting in a real oh, for sure. scenario. Yeah. You're like, that, I'd seen Happy Gilmore, yeah, and I loved that. That, right, that was really the beginning, and but but I also knew, knew, knew SNL, right? Uh-huh. So I knew SNL, and then Happy Gilmore. Don't tell Adam. I, I liked the Water Boy, but I didn't <laughs> love the Water Boy. Like yeah. I loved Happy Gilmore, but yeah, Big sure. Daddy just was something else entirely. Sure, yeah. In particular, the scene when he's screaming at his dad <laughs> on the telephone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Joe, the late great Joe Bologna. Yep. And then I kind of backtracked. Then I was like, wait, now I need to see every single thing in detail over and over and over and over and over again. Yeah. I don't know going overboard. Yeah. Oh, yes, I do know this one. Yes, of course, <laughs> of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when I first met him. I was down the street here having dinner with Mike DeLuca, and he was like, what do you want to do next? I said, you know, I know you know Adam Sandler. I want to work with Adam Sandler. <laughs> he's just like, he's down the street at Paramount. He's shooting. You should go visit him. And he called him up, so I went to go visit. And... Um, I kind of came on the set. I hate visiting sets. I don't <laughs> know, right? You feel like a nuisance, right? right? Like, this is uh, horrible. But well, it would... reminds you of how ne- ho- horrible it is making it. Like, is yes, yeah, yeah, it yeah. does. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Does it look like that? Do I look that bad? Yeah. Do I do uh, and then um, Quentin came over to me right. because Quentin was shooting. Film, yeah. It, it yeah. was shooting, and, he, and he's like, "What are you doing here?" And he, and I could see in his head, he's like, well, what's going on? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> because I, at the time, he had been writing Inglorious Bastards, and he had Rebergio, this idea, yeah. and he had this idea. Oh, and he's like, and oh, he, and he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. So he sees whoa. you, he's like, he's like, I'm in Little Nicky right <laughs> <Yeah>. now. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Um, I was like, see you, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> so that was my first intro to Sandler. It's incredible. It was good. How, how and much? then he saw, and then he, and then so we kind of became friends, and Magnolia had just come out. And he goes and he sees it after a day of shooting Little Nicky mm-hmm. go, on his way home. This is very Sandler now that you know him really was like driving to the movies after a long of day of yeah. work, like yeah. by himself. I like, park the car, go yeah, up, yeah, yeah. I get a ticket, watches a three and a half hour fucking thing <laughs> and calls me. He's like, buddy, buddy, that's not what we're planning on doing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, no, don't. 